the world is beginning to realize that this is not just about one fighter jet, but rather about a nation stepping into a new role that it took more than 200 years to accept. Today, we are uncovering Sweden's grip and strategy, and what comes next? A story of change, pressure, and a new kind of strength that is rising quietly but firmly in the north. The sky over Europe feels different now, sharper, more alert, more alive, and all eyes are slowly turning towards Sweden. Many people thought that Sweden had kept the peace for a long time. It didn't take part in any of the fights that followed. It preferred to stay quiet instead of fighting. It was able to build its reputation by employing calm and collected language. The notion that neutrality functioned as a safeguard was transmitted from one generation to another. On the other hand, history doesn't always go the same way. The idea started to fall apart in 2022, when Russia invaded Ukraine. The sounds of missiles and tanks spread across Europe and even reached the peaceful streets of Stockholm. They made people scared and conscious all over the continent. The time and issue was the exact moment when Sweden had a deep and real epiphany. In a world that is changing all the time, the choice to stay the same is no longer safe. Standing alone is not a sign of strength anymore. This gave the Gripen the best chance to take advantage of the situation. The JAS-39 Gripen was never just a jet. It was built to show that someone was smart about defense, not to show that they were openly hostile. It was made in Sweden to be used in Sweden on short runways and cold weather when quick reactions are needed, and for defense in a harsh place where it was meant to be used. It's not hefty at all, it doesn't take long at all. The results are good. You don't need a lot of teams or big bases to keep it flying. It may take off from a road and land on a part of the road. It only takes a few minutes to recharge and put it back together. It was created from the ground up with survival in mind. In a world where speed and flexibility are more important than size, the Gripen suddenly appears like the future instead of the present. In March 2024, when Sweden first joined the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, the Gripen also joined. Sweden's part in the alliance wasn't just its land and water, it also included other resources. It was able to bring it because it had air power. For decades, it has been the reason for progress in engineering. It brought with it a fighter plane that a lot of experts secretly liked, but that the rest of the world never really understood. The Gripen has changed over time from being only a national asset for NATO to something more. This led to the creation of a standard benefit. Because of this, it became a way to solve an issue that many countries were having. They needed a modern plane that was both affordable and adaptable in a period when threats could come from anywhere and at any moment. The Gripen works differently than other planes, which usually need long runways, big teams, and a lot of money. A smaller country that knew it needed to be smarter instead than bigger was the target user of this technology. That country made it so that it might be used. This way of thinking is currently affecting Sweden's approach. Instead of trying to be the biggest country, Sweden is now the most agile. Instead of just replicating what other people have done, it gives something that is one of a kind. The Grapen is not just one plane. It has technology that lets it talk to satellites, ground units, and other planes. Because of this, it becomes a part of a constantly changing internet network of knowledge. Real-time information is used to guide every flight, operation, and maneuver that happens in the air. Here is the defense for the time. It is a way to stay alive in this day and age. Also, Ukraine knew about this. It is important for it to have planes that can do their jobs well, even when they are under duress in order to keep its people, land, and skies secure. Airplanes need to be able to handle things like broken runways, fast turns, and a persistent threat. The Gripen is a great plane for that world. The thought of it entering the Ukrainian military has already caused ripples of respect and tension to spread across borders. This is only the start. Just because the Gripen wasn't meant to be a great show, built to last for a long time, you need to be able to last through a lengthy and hard fight. The use of the jet does not by itself mean that Sweden's strategy is over. There is also the planning of future events, the trade of technical resources, and the provision of training and support. There is a whole system here. Pilots are not only learning how to fly, but they are also learning how to be experts in all areas of aerial defense. This training is for pilots of airplanes. The engineers are working very hard to make sure that the fleet is always ready to go. The Gripen is already being worked on in new variants. These will have sensors that are more sensitive, can see more of the battlefield, and can interpret it better. These designs are already being worked on. It doesn't look like it's not doing anything. The world gets bigger with every lesson it learns the hard way. That being said, this plan also has a big emotional part to it. 
People in Sweden don't usually make threats that are dramatic or speak loudly. It moves with both tranquility and vigor. Also, from the very beginning of this moment, there is a sense of obligation, a belief that you should utilize your authority to protect those around you if you can, with the goal of defending, not taking over, by stopping an invasion from happening instead of actually invading. Over time, the Grapen has become a physical manifestation of that idea. Even though it is made of metal and code, it also sends messages. It also means that we will no longer ignore the terrible things that are happening in history. In all of Northern Europe, neighbors are keeping a careful watch on how things are going. This group includes the Baltic states, Finland, and Norway. They don't just think of Sweden as a kind neighbor right now. They think of Sweden as a terrific partner in the aviation industry. In addition to integrated defenses, there are also coordinated exercises and the sharing of information. Not the borders of the territory, but the unity of the region is what is changing. The Gripen's presence in that area is proof that working together is the best approach to defend right now. These countries work together to construct a shield that isn't made of walls, but of knowledge and readiness. Each piece of this shield is made separately. The amount of money that Sweden's military gets is going up. There are new air bases being built right now. Right now, the older ones are being changed. This means that roads that used to be able to accommodate cars can now also handle planes. That's not the same thing as being afraid. This is the understanding that peace can only be maintained for an extended duration if it is adequately safeguarded. When we say preparation, this is what we mean. The Gripen, on the other hand, is in the middle of this change. It is a quiet guardian that is waiting, watching, and getting ready for the next move. Some individuals wrongly think that power has to be loud. The idea they have is that one must show their strength. Sweden, on the other hand, is doing the opposite of what is predicted. Peace is a sign of real power. When it comes to power, being real may be exact. When you do anything with focus and purpose, you may build real power. The Grapen doesn't produce a loud noise to get people's attention. It only strikes when it absolutely has to because it moves so quickly and then it disappears into the clouds. This makes you think about how the most powerful forces in the world are often the ones you don't notice until they are the most essential. This is something that lets you realize that this is true. A new era of defense will begin all across the world. Drones are everywhere right now. Missiles may traverse international borders in just a few minutes. Satellites keep track of everything they see moving. In this kind of environment, only systems that can change a little can persist. The Swedish grip and strategy also places a lot of importance on being able to change with the times. The same plane, yet it can do a lot of different things. There is only one platform, yet the options are almost limitless. You can get protection, defense, help, and surveillance alternatives. It can change into whatever it needs to be when it needs to do something. Because of this, Sweden is putting money into both the current generation and the next one. As of today, developers are already working on ideas that will greatly increase what the Gripen can do. A system that uses AI to help pilots. When you have to drive a long way, you need to make your car more fuel efficient. Better security against attacks that happen via the internet. Having just one upgrade instead of an improvement is not the same thing. You can say this. A promise that Sweden won't fall behind in the race. In a world that doesn't want to slow down, it's assured that it will always have the right parts. And as all of this is going on, various countries start to see Sweden in different ways. This country used to have trees, lights, and long winters, but that's not the case anymore. We have now reached a country of conviction. There is a lot of action in this land. One that, after a long time, eventually decided not to back down, but to stand up for what it believed in. People think of the Gripen as a symbol of the wings of that choice. It may look like just another military plan from the outside. Sweden, on the other hand, has a situation that is much more serious. There won't be any more quiet at this time. You don't have to wait for anything anymore. A country that was at peace with itself, looked at the perilous world around it, and decided to safeguard not only itself, but also the future it thinks it should be a part of. This is the event that we are talking about right now. The Gripen seems like a message that has been written on the very top of the sky as it flies through the cold air over Northern Europe. A letter says that the time of neutrality is over and has come to an end. A statement that suggests that even small countries can make big changes to their economies and governments. This message says that rational strength will always win out against force that doesn't know it exists. As this system gets more popular, more countries start using it. More pilots take to the air and new technologies are developed. One thing becomes quite evident. This conversation isn't simply about a jet. In this case, the shape of the future is important.
The problem at hand is how the globe decides to keep itself safe. Here's a description of what will happen next. If you want to get more interesting news, in-depth analysis, and real insights into the future of military technology and global security, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Combat Tech Zone channel.